The cradle-to-cradle -cradle design protocol has five elements to it. The first is material health. It's what products are made from. And we found that as we've gone through our work with, with companies, that in a way most people, most companies don't know what their products are made from. That they put out a performance spec, a cost spec, a design spec. And um, then those products are made and obviously they, they fulfill all those requirements. But over time, people haven't been paying as much attention to what the products are made from. And so we almost need to go back and understand the chemistry of what everything is made from, looking at it from the point of view of human health and wider ecological health when those products end up in the environment. So a really, a really core component is going down the supply chain of what's in everything that's in everything that the product's made from and understanding it using 19 human health and ecological health criteria. And that's a, that's a big piece of the work. The second piece is we call material reutilization. What happens at the end of the life of a product? You know, a product lasts five minutes, five weeks, five days, five years, whatever it is for that useful life of the product. And then typically products are buried or burnt. They're in a linear flow from cradle to grave. And if we follow nature's laws, we have to go into these cyclical flows where we get things back. You know, when we look at the cherry tree in the spring and the blossoms fall off, we don't worry about the waste of the cherry blossoms or in the fall when the leaves fall off. We know that there's a natural biological cycle that takes things back as safe nutrients back into the soil again. What's our technical equivalent of that for computers and cameras and watches and all those other things we have in our lives today? And so we have to uh, imagine and put into place a technical cycle that mirrors the biological cycle. That's the reutilization piece that takes us from this linear cradle to grave to the cradle to cradle approach. So these are the two fundamental starting points. And then we add uh, renewable energy to the portfolio. We want to make everything from renewable energy so that we remove ourselves from this uh, fossil fuel economy. And we want to use and end up with clean water, respecting the value of clean water, which is a, you know, obviously a precious commodity that we have to protect. And then we finish with a social criteria to do with um, social equity and fairness.